Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the respiratory cycle. This is our ability to bring air into the lungs and then bring air back out of the lungs. And all of this is possible simply due to muscles and pressure changes. So the first thing we need to talk about is what I've drawn up here. Very simple, very basic, but we've got the trachea, We've got our lungs and we've got a couple of muscles here that we need to talk about. First thing is, when we bring air into our lungs, the only reason this happens is because muscles contract and increase the volume of this area of the lungs. So think about it. We've got a couple of important muscles here. First really important muscle when it comes to breathing is that of the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm is a skeletal muscle that sits underneath our lungs and it's actually the anatomical barrier between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity. So what happens is this, the diaphragm when it's relaxed has this dome shape to it and it's attached to the lung tissue which we can see here. When the diaphragm contracts, the diaphragm pulls down. Now when it pulls down, it's pulling this region of the thoracic cavity with it. So it gets larger. At the same time, other muscles contract. See, what I've got here are ribs, right? And we know that our ribs line our thoracic cavity. And we've got muscles. We've got muscles on the outside and we've got muscles on the inside. Now these muscles on the outside are called external intercostals. External because they're on the outside. Inter, meaning between, costals, meaning cartilage, specifically ribs. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.